we are going to go in the store and see what kind of deals we can find on beauty products and makeup and it's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and also before you say anything, yellow is now our color. I know we said before that <laughs> it's like a special person to wear yellow, but yeah, I guess for those people. <laughs> yeah, here we are. We have arrived. We are going to go in and see what we can find. So let's go. Let's go. from TJ Maxx we were definitely able to find a lot of stuff yeah and shopping there was not easy like yeah. all of the shelving is chaos you literally just have to dig forever to find anything at all yeah it was pretty insane but here we are yeah so let's get started um, we do have this unicorn glitter oil serum from Azure Glam I've never heard of this brand but it looked interesting. Um, it was only $5, so we definitely had to pick it up and give it a try. Yeah. We also were able to find some beauty blenders, which are definitely staples. Uh, these are from the company Revive, which I also have not heard of, but they were only $5.99, so had to pick those up as well. Um, we also have this Too Faced bronzer in the shade Sun Bunny. So if you didn't know, my boyfriend does call me Bunny. That is my nickname. So I thought this was really fitting. Um, this bronzer, we're definitely going to try on our different skin types and see how that works. But Too Faced is a great brand, and this was only $4, so we definitely had to pick it up. Yeah, for sure. And then we also were able to find this Everybody's Shade <laughs> um, <laughs> Concealer Palette from Makeup Revolution. Um, not sold that it'll work for both of us, but this one came in at $5.99, so... And we also got um, foundation for both of us. So um, I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation stick in the shade beige. Yeah. Now, whether or not this is going to fit my face, we will see. <laughs> because it's really hard to do uh, foundation shades. But it was only $11, so we picked it up and we'll give it a try. Right. And I ended up picking up the Stila All Day Stay foundation. And this is in the shade Fair gonna see about that because I have a lot of issues with companies that say their foundation is fair and then it's not at all and I yeah. look like an Oompa Loompa so <laughs> that'll be fun. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, another thing we got from the brand Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm super excited about is this subculture eyeshadow palette. So I've not really looked up much on this. I know that this has been out for a little while but this was only $20. So we're gonna pick it up, we're gonna give it a try and see how these eyeshadows test. We also wanted to get something that was kind of like skincare, so we picked up these coconut water face masks. We're going to try those out. These were only $5, so even if they don't, whatever, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> All right. Now, we also have this uh, Lorac set here. Now, Lorac is a really good brand. I've never used them, and I don't think you have either. No, I haven't. But I've heard really good things about them. We picked up this uh, lipstick set. It has five different shades in it, and it was only what? $10? 10 dollars 10 and this retails at 90 yeah supposedly yeah supposedly but so we'll give it a try and we'll see yeah so yeah and then also we had to pick up some mascara so mm -hmm. here we are but some big teas i know they sell this at sephora i've seen it there before 
but we snagged it for only $3.99. Now, guys, we had to have something for our eyebrows. And when I saw this, I knew that we had to try it. So this is one of those Acid on TV products, the three second eyebrow. I think it's like an eyebrow stamp. Um, it was only $5. So <laughs> we're going to see if these are going to work. I don't have much hope for this, but looks interesting. Yeah. All right. So also along with those eyes, needed some eyeliner. So we got this cat eye angle tipped liner which I've never had any experience with angle tips we're gonna see how that draws but this was only $2.99 so I mean I spend 20 on liner so if yeah. that works for me I'll be really happy <laughs> and then last but not least we have some chocolate covered gummy bears <laughs> Yo, so. <laughs> so we were in the uh, checkout line and we saw these and I mean come on yeah I'm like I've never had a chocolate covered gummy bear but I hear a lot of good things so yeah. We'll try them out. Yeah. All right. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started and do a skincare regimen. So we will see you after we put on these face masks. Five minutes later. Well, <laughs> here we are. Um, this is too big for my face. And it's very, very <laughs> wet. Yeah. Um, when we took them out, they were literally dripping. <laughs> So yeah. there's that. <laughs> this is the uh, wettest face mask I've ever used. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so. it's, it smells really good. Oh, yeah. It definitely smells like sure. coconut water. <laughs> it's nice. Um, it is very. <laughs> it's very cold and refreshing. <laughs> yeah. But we've had these on yeah. for about 15 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and pull them off. It's up 15 to 20. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Hopefully I look like a newborn infant baby now. Uh, covered in dew. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Alright. So, yeah. Um so we're gonna rinse our faces before yeah. we get into this because OMG. It's too much. It's a lot. Okay. Don't buy those. <laughs> Unless you want to be super hydrated, then yes, buy those. <laughs> So upon taking the face mask <laughs> off, I had a huge blackhead right here, or up from my nose. That was great. It was beautiful. So brings out all the impurities. <laughs> uh, my face does feel pretty okay though. Like yeah. I, I feel pretty soft. It kind of, yeah. it's a little sticky, but yeah. for the most part, I mean, it feels refreshing. Yeah, for the amount of money you pay, it's all right. So. What are we going to dive into? Okay, so before we even get to foundation or any of that, we have to prime with this glitter oil serum. Yes. So we're going to get into this. <sighs> Nervous, and but excited. Just in case. Don't pay any attention to my dirty ass makeup mirror. It's fine. Yeah. Aha. Oh, this Ooh. is a cute little model. Ooh, those yes. are glittery. I don't know if you can tell, but it's very glittery. Okay, yeah, so what are the instructions this. here? Um, no instructions. Oh, <laughs> it says after completing cleansing, apply oil to face and neck, gently massage into the skin. Okay. Okay. It says it's supposed to have all kinds of vitamins, A, B, C, E, essential oils, antioxidants, all of the above, plus glitter, so let's dive in. It's not interesting. Yeah, it actually doesn't smell too bad. It kind of smells like roses a little bit. Mm -hmm. but that's all right. So do we just like yeah? Can we get my glasses off here? We're gonna rub it on my hand and just. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We're just gonna. Feels all right. It doesn't feel like oil. It feels like uh. Hmm. I don't even want to say. <laughs> it's like lube. <laughs> a little bit like lube. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, so I just did two drops. I'm going to need a little bit more. Yeah, I was going to say, this does not go very far. It actually is, like, really absorbing into my skin. Mm -hmm. Like, this, it feels good, though. It doesn't feel oily. It's not heavy. It actually doesn't feel like I've put anything on my face. So. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Okay. So I, let's see. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I don't see any glitter. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not really. I see like one flake. Here, let me see. Right there. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's like, it, it's not really there though. Yeah, this is um, definitely not like in the bottle. You can see a lot more glitter, which I think with a lot of glitter products, they kind of have this problem. It looks great in the packaging, but then you oh, use yeah. it and it doesn't really have any payoff. So it wasn't horrible, but it's not doing what it was advertised to Yeah. So if you want it for the glitter, don't buy it. Yeah. But so far, I would recommend it if you're just looking for like something simple to prime your face mm -hmm. or just something to moisturize or tone, I think it would definitely live up to it, set expectations for that. So. All right. Ooh. I'm just throwing things, but you already know that's me. <laughs> okay. So I got out our handy dandy. Cute blenders. <laughs> yes. Ha -ha. So here we are. This is a cute little tray for them. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. Okay. okay. So I'm not ready for this. Not I'm my little water here. We are going to dive right in. Oh, okay. What beauty blender do you want? I'm kind of digging this little. Yeah, I think I'm a purple. purple anyways. Okay. Ooh, these feel really nice. Yeah, actually, this surprisingly. Really soft. I'm like. Very dense. Yes, very. Okay. So. Are you ready? This is weird. It doesn't have like a little nozzle. I was already playing with it a little bit earlier, trying to get it to come up. You have to like push it down. I don't really know how weird. I feel about that. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's convenient, but I'll have to like dip in there and just kind of go for it. So. Yeah. We'll and figure it out. This one, I mean, it feels really nice. The packaging is really like heavy and nice. Um, it looks just like kind of like a lipstick container. You just kind of pop it up and I assume paint it on. I don't know. I've never used a stick foundation, but. I suppose we're going to find out here. So I'll just dive right in. This is so very heavy. All right. So far, I feel very orange. <laughs> I'm very blind, so this is kind of hard to put on. <laughs> the struggle is very real. Um. Is this a light coverage? Because I don't really see anything. Yeah. Do you I, see anything? I don't either. But okay, I'll put some more on. All right. This is very oily already. I have oily skin, so I'm really iffy about foundation already. I have to buy anything that's oil free. And this Same. just kind of does not have that for me. This is not really blending into my neck very well. I don't know if you can see this, but uh. Oh no. Yeah, I feel very warm. No, no. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Let me see. <laughs> So, you can kind of see, it's pretty close to my skin tone. It's not great, and it feels kind of tacky <laughs> and heavy and oily, which I don't like. I usually use, um, kind of like Andrea, I use like oil-free or like combination skin. This is like a really heavy, oily kind of foundation, so, but match-wise, not too bad. All right, so here it is, the yeah. final product. <laughs> You have um, a ghost and Snooky, so. <laughs> I literally look like a lightly powdered donut. <laughs> you really do. It, at first it didn't look too bad, but now that I'm looking at it, this is a couple shades too light. I mean, you yeah, can tell. <laughs> honestly, yeah. Mine is definitely a couple shades too dark. I mean, right here, I don't know if you can yeah. see this line, but I could not get this to blend at all. And up here in my hairline, I kept trying to blend here, and you can see my really <laughs> white scalp behind the orange. So it's fine. It didn't really work out, <laughs> but we're gonna move on. Yeah. So we have concealer nuts and uh, got that palette. So we're just gonna dig into this oh, and see what these shades actually look like. So, so far the packaging looks really nice. It's camo. Mm -hmm, it's cute. We're really getting to their point of camouflage. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're we get it. Makeup see. revolution. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So actually, this looks terrible. Oh. This looks like almost Revlon. I'm not gonna lie. I 
and I have nothing against drugstore makeup. I just yeah. am so used to shopping at Sephora and Ulta. I really would rather not. It looks like kind of like plain makeup, like the, this the casing really does. does. It's very plain. All of this looks like those tits you would get for Christmas when you were like 12 years old and you thought you were so cool. Do you have real people <laughs> makeup now? That wasn't real people. Makeup. No. Okay. So. Oh, I don't even know what shade to use. I so. don't either. None of these look like they would fit Zena. Like I feel like I can make all of these work somehow. But um, know. for like darker skin. Well, there's a couple, like, but just these two maybe. Hold on, let me read the packaging here. Yeah. Camouflage corrector palette, light medium. So I feel like that's light medium, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So ugh. I guess I'll just. Oh my gosh, I don't know. We'll just see. I don't know. I guess yeah. I'm just gonna. Yeah, blender would probably be the yeah, best. Yeah, we'll just try that. So. Okay. So maybe you should try that. Mm, or that. Yeah. Yeah, try that one. I'm gonna dip into this more like uh ashy brown. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a taupe kind yeah. of color, yeah. So I'm gonna try that. And then I think I'm gonna go here with this more like tannish cream color because the cream cream just looks too light for me. I'm not honestly sure how this is gonna go though. So we're just going to kind of apply it to the under eye area like a normal concealer. Now, first impressions, okay. it's not horrible. Yeah, it's not too bad. It feels like I'm not wearing anything, so I do like that. I hate heavy makeup. Like, I just can't do it. Yeah, especially concealer. I hate heavy under eye concealer because then you just feel like caked on all day long. I'm just gonna get these here, uh, pimples that that face mask brought out. Sorry. Let me get a little bit more down. Thanks, girl. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on my under eye because the first layer was pretty sheer. Yeah, this is all pretty sheer. The coverage is not there. No. Honestly. We're gonna see if it's buildable. I'm gonna let you know. Also, don't make fun of my makeup face. I know I open my mouth a lot and I'm not about it, but. <laughs> Always get your mouth open. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> okay. So, it's not great. Not horrible. It is a little not buildable, horrible, honestly. Great. Yeah. I'm sure coverage could be there, but the more I put on, the heavier it gets, and once again, I'm not really trying to do that. So. But, I mean, for the price. It was cheap, yeah. um, and it's not, it's maybe a little bit better than some drugstore. I won't say yeah. all drugstore, but some drugstore makeup. Yeah. So it is a little bit of a step up. It, yeah, it really is. Okay, so, so what do we have next? Do <sighs> you want to get into the bronzer? Yes. Okay. So once again, we have the Sun Bunny by Too Faced. Which is one of my favorite brands. So I'm a little biased. Just a little bit. I literally own way too much too faced <laughs> makeup. There is but no such thing as too much makeup. Oh, so this is nice. It's double bronzer. So oh, okay. Two different shades here. So I can do the lighter and you can do the dark and it'll work. Sounds yeah. good. Alright, so I'm just gonna use my little brush because I don't want to get on her side. We're just gonna I don't have a brush. And then I have more brushes right here. Oh, thank you. Not bad. Really? I'm sorry, guys. I'm really blind. That's why I'm squinting at everything. <laughs> the struggle of being blind and having to put on makeup. You literally have to put everything on two inches away from the mirror. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can okay. see, and I still have that problem. So, <laughs> so we're going to dip into the darker shade here. Honestly, I don't use a lot of bronzer. Um, I do highlight and contour, but I don't even really know where bronzer goes. Oh, I'm just gonna kind of like, like maybe like the contour one. Oh. Okay. Where's messy? Okay, so that's a lot of payoff. <laughs> yeah, this is actually like really pigmented. Wow. Yeah, now okay. I look crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to go in with one of these fluffier brushes and maybe blend that out. No, it's fine. I think you should keep it that way. Well, that's great. Thanks. What is your 
cat doing? I'm really not sure. She's attacking the couch now. I don't know. She's not. Oh no! Are they eating my issue. stuff on my purse? No. Okay. No, no. I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> she was cleaning herself, and is just paranoid. What do you have in your purse? <laughs> Catnip. Catnip. <laughs> she came prepared. I'm just gonna sip this. Also, if you're wondering right now why our wine is so dark, this is actually not wine. <laughs> this is Cider Boys. This is the traditional first press. And it is actually really delicious. It is. I love cider, so if you're about it, get that one. Low key though, for those of you who know who live in Illinois, you can't buy any kind of alcohol before uh, noon on Sundays, so mm -hmm. this is what we had. Yeah. We <laughs> sent my boyfriend to the store to get alcohol and realized that wine is not clean because it was like 11 and they said no. So Apparently, yeah. society frowns upon day drinking. <sighs> it's fine. So, so bronzer, um, decent. Yeah, this Pretty was decent. really good. Yeah, I actually like this one. So then I'm a little biased. I Still finding some of this concealer and like foundation that has not been blended well enough. It just won't go. Oh, it's so, fine. That's fine. Do you okay. want to do brows or do you want to dive into the eyeballs? I feel like I want to do eyeshadow first. Yes, that's kind of what I was thinking. So once again, we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture. I'm just gonna pull this out here. Wow. This packaging is so nice. This is like suede. Ooh. Yeah. I love this. This is amazing. Okay. So, and it even has this little, this little pad. You can just like oh, pull out your little, oh, your little brush. Brush. Nice. Look at that. Okay. That's really cute. That. <laughs> yeah. We'll be using that. Oh my God. These colors are yes. kind of to die for. Those. Super cute. There's a pretty good range yeah. of color as well. Yes. We'll see how pigmented these really are, but yeah. I have high hopes. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch a few here for y'all. So I'm gonna dive in here. So this is called Cube. So okay, pigment is lacking a little bit on that. I would say maybe if you're gonna use a highlighter, definitely go for Cube. Other than that, I don't. You're also that right. Ones. Yeah, but yeah, you you can swatch it. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, no. It barely shows up for her as well. I think it's mainly supposed to be more of like a sheer... I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Like a, a sheer, uh, like, transition shade, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what you'd even use that as. Maybe yeah. like a really light say, base? I would say maybe just a light base, or if you're going to use highlighter once then you can probably build it a little bit and use it for that. So this is called Dawn. This also isn't super pigmented, which makes me think maybe this palette just wasn't up to par with the specs. Maybe. Um, what else do we have here? Okay, so I'm gonna do this Destiny. This is green. Ooh, oh, okay. okay, never mind. Maybe Hello. maybe we just had to get to that. Yeah, that one looks really nice. So I'm gonna go Adorn. Ooh, that's a really nice shimmer. It really is. Let's try this other side of the brush. Okay, so not really showing up as well as you would like. Yeah, and really honestly with a brand like this, I expected some pretty pigmented yeah. uh, eyeshadows, but... You would think, for sure. Let's try All Star. It looks like this one should be dark. Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay not disappointed in that. It's so really good. Yeah. Try like one of the blues. Okay. Let's go for Axis is what this is called. Okay. okay. All right. Hello, pigment. Yeah, I see you. Okay. Let's do one of these purples. This is called Rowdy. Okay. So once again, not as much pigment as you would like, but no. it's still doing its job. Maybe if your brush was a little wetter, mm -hmm. I would definitely, definitely have to have a good primer. There is a little bit of fallout. Not too bad, but there is a little bit of fallout. There is a little, yeah. Let's so. try this other shimmer color. I'm just really interested since that cube didn't work. I want to see. Maybe this is called Electric. Ooh! Okay. Alright, I really love that one. Okay, yeah. Alright, that one's really pretty, so... Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I just we were just gonna dive right in and we will go ahead and do our eyes. Quick disclaimer, I cannot do eyeshadow to save my life. 
<laughs> but I can tell the difference between a good eyeshadow and a bad one. Yes. So I'm just gonna kind of start with a base, and I'm gonna build on it. But I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit. I really like this mirror in this palette. If you guys have been wondering, it's <laughs> been a lot easier since we only had the one mirror to share. Mine kind of broke, but it's fine. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, so. So I went in with the uh, base color of Cure, and I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but this is crazy right now. Like. Oh, yeah. That's it is highly good. pigmented. It is really shimmery. It's really pretty. It's iridescent more than shimmer, I think. Okay, so we got the base down. Yeah, and this one is almost too much color. Hmm. <laughs> so. I think I'm going to go in with something a little bit more crazy. We're going to do some greens, I think. So I'm going to go in with Destiny. It's kind of like a uh, light army green. Look at that in the crease. Okay, so I have this in here, wow. and for some reason the green kind of turned to like a brown. It did, yeah, actually, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> um, I went in with a wet brush on this adorn though, and I am living for this right now. That is gorgeous. Yeah. I love that. I mean, the pigment is definitely there. Yeah. My skill, maybe not so much. Yeah, we uh never... Never claim to be professionals over here. We're just kind of, kind of doing what we do on the daily. This is um, an interesting face for me. I just my eyeshadow is uh, is good, but the rest of it is lacking in comparison. It's fine. It needs to look good anyway. Not me. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that fallout. I know. Yeah, oh look at mine. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. So there is so much fallout. This is... Wow. So not really what I would expect for the typical price of this palette. I'm not sure what the actual retail is. This one said it was $28. I wouldn't pay that for this palette. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh. So I'm glad that it was discounted, but I just, uh, yeah, at this point I give up on eyeshadow. I'm not really. I'm just doing the one eye. I can't, I can't okay, do more yeah. because it's, it's, um, half of the colors work. Half of the colors have pretty good payout. The other half are extremely sheer to the point where it's like, did I put anything on? I don't know. Yeah. Blendability is, uh, mediocre, I would say. Very. Yeah. So we're just going to so move are. on to this TJ Maxx brand I've never heard of. It's called Beauty Concepts. I know that like this is specifically only sold at TJ Maxx. So we are gonna see how that goes. Right. So it's very sleek. It has some little cute paw prints on it. It's actually really cute. Oh this is not at all a roll tip. This is fine tip. Wow. This is not at all. Yeah, on the packaging, very clearly has an angle tip. This yes. is not it. And that is not what we're doing. So, we are just going to go right in. Okay, so we're back after a short interruption. Of the battery did die, so we had to charge it. And now we're here. Yeah. So we've actually already tried on some of these, but yeah, we lost that footage. So here we are. So we did do the eyeliner. Um, we saw yeah. part of Andrew putting it on. I did put it on my eye. Yeah. So this eyeliner was pretty okay. Um, it's a little bit above like a drugstore eyeliner. It's not as smooth or um, as pigmented as I would like. I usually get eyeliners from Sephora because yeah. I'm extra like that. And I spend like $22 on them and you really get what you pay for with that. Yeah, exactly. 
So we are going to try this Buxom Big Teeth Mascara mm -hmm. Next. Now Buxom is a good brand. You can get that at Sephora as well. So I have high hopes for this one. I'm sure it'll yeah. probably work out. So this is nice and sleek. The packaging is really nice and just plain like a classic. Mm -hmm. So this looks really nice. The applicator mm -hmm. is really nice. Let's see how this works. So I have really long lashes, so I don't like anything that clumps, and I'm not seeing too much clumping here. Yeah, it's pretty I, pretty I think smooth. it might be an issue if you're applying multiple layers of it, but that's going to be with almost any mascara. If yeah. you do too many layers, it's not really what it's made for. Now I'm not as lucky as some people to have <laughs> gorgeous long lashes. But, uh, my- <laughs> Yeah, get away. Okay. I'll uh, be back. <laughs> okay, so we're back again. <laughs> Literally, today is not our day. Having a lot of mishaps, but that's fine. <laughs> Moving forward. Moving forward from that. Um, so, we, we had mascara i will once again attempt to apply it we will see we'll see if she breaks anything else <laughs> just kidding that's fine i'm pretty sure that wine glass was from dollar tree so it's whatever was it though mm -hmm. <laughs> really all right that's fine then you know i'm a bougie on a budget oh girl me too oh oh oh, <laughs> oh my eye I like that though. I mean, yeah. If you don't put it in your eyeball, it works it's great. great. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, um, it is probably a little bit more lengthening than it is volumizing, but I think it works really well. I do like this brand, and you can definitely see a distinct difference. Yeah, there is a difference for sure. So this one's a key. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to the brows. Okay, so <laughs> we already kind of broke into the pattern yes. because we were like, oh my god, we want to look at this. So so the instructions say that you're supposed to dip the stamp into the uh, powder and then hold it on your eyebrow for three seconds. Now we had two different shapes. We have a uh, more arched brow, which is what I'm going to try to use. And then Andrea has the more curved brow. Yes. So we're going to see how these work. I'm not excited. I can get it out. <laughs> Why am I having so many problems? We don't need it, it's fine. So there's like a little holder for the uh, eyebrow stamps and then underneath we have the actual powder itself. Maybe. Okay. So there it is. Pretty basic color. Yeah. You want to dip in there? Alright. So we're just gonna... Alright. So as you can see it's pretty dark. Not really a universal color, but we'll see how this goes for me. So it says you're supposed to just kind of line it up and press for three seconds. I'm very nervous. Alright. I feel like I need longer than 30 seconds, so I don't know. <gasps> oh my god. Hey! Yeah! This isn't half bad! Yeah! I mean, it would need to be cleaned up, obviously. Yeah. My, my shape is still off. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, the shape is off, but I mean, it's, it's mine is, is very close to being on point. <laughs> I mean, compared to my normal brow, this is go. not half bad. <laughs> just a, yeah, just kind of paint yeah, it in there. Paint it a little bit. All right. So, all right. I'm going to attempt to do the other brow. We'll see if that goes yeah as decently. I was honestly expecting this to be an automatic fail. Yeah, but honestly, this is yeah. not half bad. Most as seen on TV products do not work for anything. You definitely have to coat it a lot on there. I don't know yeah, how much this like, would last. This is, yeah, I honestly think you would need to have like a setting powder or something with this. Mm. I think that you'd have a lot of fall off. And then if you ran out of this pan, I don't know if there's anywhere you could purchase this without having to buy a whole other kit. Yeah, you might just have to uh, take one for the team there and buy the entire kit. Yeah. This one is not working as well either. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try for number two. All right. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh. What? No. What? What is happening that, like, <laughs> barely showed up? Uh, yeah, mine is not quite even, which 
my eyebrows aren't even, but this is fine. I'm this... fine with this. This is the best eyebrow I've ever had. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, could be uh, an error of the applicant and not the uh, product, but yeah, who knows though? You know what? I think I just need like a third eye eyebrow. Oh my just... god, yes. Wow, this is so great. I look beautiful. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. Yes! <laughs> that is beautiful. I'm really good in this. This is good. We're beautiful. Okay, so now that we look like this, flawless, of course, um, we're gonna go ahead and dig in the lipstick. Okay, we're... Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna hit myself with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so lipstick. We have this Laura set. This is the Mod Goddess Volume 1. I'm excited um, about this. These colors look great. Yeah, we have five shades here. There's Working Girl, Duchess, CEO, Aphrodite, and Celine. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and we're pulling these out. I think I am more of a CEO kind of girl, so we're gonna get that out there. Mm, let's see. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go for Celine. That's so cute. Yeah. Okay, so these are super cute packaging, like a little sleek, little pink. Packaging. Yes, so that's there's her name on it. Very simple. You. And see what shade it is. Although, upon further examination, these are just not. Yeah. Really I was the about colors. to say, Celine down here and Celine in the packaging does not yes, quite look the same. This should be maroon, and this is like a bright pink. This is definitely more of a mauve, and it's almost there, but it's still just not. Yeah, which so, I understand sometimes it's hard to match the colors, but I don't think they should be that off. Not that off, no. So, I'm going to try this. Ooh. This is really cute. Mm -hmm. They have their little logo on the side. It smells really good. It kind of smells like a candy. Oh, yeah. This does smell like candy. Ooh. Like a marshmallow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, let's so see. So, we're just going to... Okay. Okay, so it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to apply. But as far as a matte goes, this is not cutting it. No, this is more of got like a, a satin finish than a matte. It's yeah. creamy. It does feel moisturizing, so that's it good. Because a lot of the matte formulas, it will feel really dry. Very dry. So this is very good creamy consistency, but it doesn't really yeah. seem matte to me. No, not at all. I'm just too used to wearing Jeffree Star maybe, but oh, yes. that's where the real mattes <laughs> are. So if you ever want a matte lipstick, definitely go that route. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, so oh, this is our, uh, oh. I think we forgot something. We did. <gasps> yes! yes! Okay. Chocolate so gummy out. bears. Okay. So. so this is probably the most exciting part of the video. Honestly, because <laughs> the last couple of things were very lackluster. I'm going to be honest. I think so far my favorite has been the Too Faced Fun. Oh my god, this just looks like a big lump. Yes, like a chocolate turd. <laughs> it's poop, it's fine. It's edible poop. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> mm. Ooh, I kind of like this. They're really good. Mm-hmm. Don't like chocolate gummy bear. I, I see. Mm -hmm. Way better than the Asian candy we oh my gosh. tried. That doesn't make me want to throw up. Okay. So all in all, I'd say this has been a pretty interesting experience. I mean, mm -hmm. we've had some fails. We've had some <laughs> surprisingly good products as well. Uh what's your favorite? Um, I would definitely, oh my god. <laughs> Are you gonna make it? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I would definitely say I have to go with the bronzer. Yeah. Very tried and true. I'm also very partial to Too Faced, so that's just gonna be my opinion anyway. <laughs> this was also another one of my favorites, the unicorn oil serum thing, whatever this is. Anyway, <laughs> um, I thought that it felt really great on my face, especially because like, the rest of the makeup I put on was very oily, and I feel like this didn't actually let it get to my pores. So 
That's a plus. You know, honestly, I'm going to have to say the opposite. I feel like this was basically nothing in a bottle. <laughs> it reminds me of like play makeup when you're younger. It's like there was no moisturizing to me. Uh, there was no really difference to me when I put this on under my makeup. So I would say this is probably for me a big fail. Yeah. Well, um, what was your favorite then? Um. Honestly, I feel like these brow uh, tattoo <laughs> things, these little stamps, were really great. I mean, this one brow. Yeah. This one brow was everything. <laughs> as long as you, like, clean it up a little bit, it actually isn't that terrible. It sucked. Yeah. It doesn't belong on your forehead, clearly, or <laughs> above your eyebrow. Um, so, yeah, maybe if it's you fine. shave your eyebrows off, you'll be fine. Yeah. And put it wherever you want. <laughs> so, yeah. But... Yeah, I think all in all, pretty good experience. Yeah. They're a pretty decent haul and like assortment of things. And I'm not mad about it. No, not at all. Yeah. So thank you guys for coming with us today and going on this little adventure. Um, definitely leave us a like if you like the video. Leave us some comments below and let us know what else you'd like to see us do. Any more yeah. makeup hauls or anything along those lines. Yeah, so we will look forward to hearing from you. And as always, goodbyes are bittersweet. So see, see you next time. time.